But for now, we're just going to jump right into it. This is a good place to just practice, make a lot of mistakes, and figure out it, figure it all out as we go. So as the title said, we're going to be doing some news reading. And what I have over here in the middle of the screen, right next to King Kakuji Temple, right back there, is a website I like to use called, I, I call it NHK Easy. Uh, in short, it's the National Broadcaster of Japan, NHK. They put up their news, but in very easy and accessible Japanese. So if you want to see what's been going on, on recently, type in NHK Easy. You'll come to this. It's Yasashi Nihongo. And you'll get a couple articles in rather plain spoken Japanese. But more importantly, is when you hop into an article, you have two buttons up here. Now, some of you may be able to read this and recognize it. The one on the left here, right there, Nyuzu. Oh, Kiku. You can actually listen to it. So you can get real pronunciation. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? That's all nice. On the right side, this turns on the kanji with the furigana on top of it. So if you want to give yourself a little bit of a challenge, turn that off and you scan through this. Let me turn off Rikai Chan. That, that does get in the way when jumping through a little bit. So you come up here, this one, to widen. This, this is a verb, generally, generally speaking, means to expand, to widen. But the, the, the pronunciation changes, right? So if you come across it before you, or in the future, you're going to find that in different contexts it changes. Here, I'm going to probably say it's hirogateimasu. And it is. Now, throw on Rikai Champ. Turn off Furigana. So we just catch that. Hirogaru. It gives you the, the, the standard form. So this way you can actually go back, figure out what Ru verb 